Before he headed to breaking news, RJ Shakur spoke with former Memphis police officer Brandon Williams as he echoes the calls for better police practices. That's right. Brandon served as an officer in MPD for five years and says he even knew some of the first five officers initially fired after the death of Tyree Nichols. I spoke with him about what police reform would mean for the department. It was painful. That's how former MPD officer Brandon Williams felt watching the video footage showing five now former MPD officers beating 29 year old Tyree Nichols. It's the fact that we all took an oath and when you see anybody who's taking that oath, break that oath so painlessly, it's just painful on our sides. Williams says with that oath comes, in his view, a responsibility to enforce the law in a respectful and humane manner. Regardless of the training that you had, whether your academy trained you to do this or do not, there is a, a decency of humanity that every human is supposed to have towards another person, regardless of the crime they commit or supposedly in this case committed or did not commit at all. Williams patrolled the streets of Memphis with two of the five former officers currently charged in the murder of Tyree Nichols. And he says they, like him, underwent some of the most rigorous police training in the country. For Memphis to have the population that we have and the amount of officers we have compared to other major cities, the training is almost as long and strenuous as cities who have triple and quadruple the number of officers we have. But that training isn't without a need to be reformed with the fight to improve police practices and protocols continuing on a federal, state, and city level. Williams believes it all starts with rebuilding trust. MPD is going to have to do a lot of community relations. Um, the city is going to have to trust the chief again. The city is going to have to trust law enforcement as a unit. Strictly enforcing what police training calls a force continuum, where officers only apply the same amount of force as they're given when at a scene. And making sure that these people you are hiring aren't people who have come from other departments and got fired. We've seen issues where a lot of people who are repeat offenders in these civil rights cases or constitutional rights cases have also violated in other departments and some departments are sweeping that under the rug. It's policing the police as they serve and protect. So we have to keep all departments at a standard to make sure that no matter if you're a police officer in Montana, Memphis, Tennessee, or, or Miami, Florida, they were all following the same standards. Now you can learn more about current efforts nationally and locally by officials to reform policing by visiting our website, abc24.com.